Hello everyone. In uh, this video I'm just going to show you a very quick tip um, and the quick tip is going to be how to set up a custom toolbar for yourself. Um, this uh, can come in handy obviously if you tend to do the same workflows over and over again in a given day. Um, it's also helpful if you have a new user who's not used to the interface and they just need to use ArcGIS for a couple of things. So um, as many of you know, um, and for those of you that don't, this is kind of a valuable thing to know. Whenever you right click in this gray area here without any toolbars actually active, you can access all of the existing toolbars. And it used to be that you could go down, well, you still can, you can go down and customize the toolbars down here and set up your own. Um, in 10.2, Esri's added the option directly within the customize window itself. So while that's still a great way to access toolbars, um, if you want to set up your own, you can just go up here to customize mode, which is nice, and it explains here you're actually um, uh, changing the, the user interface, and you'll have an option here to set up a new toolbar, and so I'm going to do that, and you give it a name, so I'll just call it my new toolbar, click OK, and then you'll see that while you're in edit mode, you now have this toolbar that you can uh, start working with. So you can either dock it or you can kind of put it up here so it's uh, freely floating. And then essentially you just go grab the commands that you tend to use the most and start dropping them into the toolbar. So um, there's a couple of different ways you can find these. Um, what I tend to like to do if, if, I'm, if I'm just not sure what category, of course, um, a particular tool falls under, you can just search for it here. So a common one that everyone seems to like to use on a regular basis but sometimes is a little bit hard to find is the buffer tool. And the one that I want is actually under the analysis tools. And here it is. So if you're not sure what it is, you can of course click on description. It's going to tell you exactly what it does. And I can simply grab that tool and drag it up to my toolbar. So we'll try that again. Uh, geocoding is another one that everyone likes to use and might make it a little easier just to have it sitting out on its own toolbar. There we go. So here's my geocode addresses tool. I guess I'll grab this one, drag them up to my toolbar, and I'm kind of ready to go. So. Uh, if that's all you need, uh, there's a couple other customization options that you can do here. You can click on these tools and even give them a new name. So if you want to make it more explicit, for example, if somebody, you know, you're afraid they're, they're not sure, or they're not going to understand what buffer exactly means, you could spell it out a little bit more for them. Um, you can also get down here and uh, either change it from, you know, just being a default button like the tools are here uh, to either just a text only button or an image and text. So I'll show you both options. The buffer tool with the image and text uh, looks like that. And if we do just the text only for the geocoding address, I do something like this. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's a really nice feature. It makes the interface very flexible. Um, if you really want to get into this, and again, you can customize the uh, default template uh, for a new user. You could even go into options here and um, you know select large icons, for example, if, if you're working with um, users that, that might uh, need um, something like that, maybe maybe children or, or um, uh, working on a smaller interface or, or you know uh, having a difficult time seeing the icons or, or whatever it is, um, you have these options. Um, you know, so just just uh, like I customize this toolbar, you can also customize the tools that are actually. Uh, available as well. So if you don't want to uh, overload somebody with all these um, tools, you can actually go set up a custom uh, map document template essentially. Uh, there's some uh, additional steps you can do to actually make that the default um, document that's loaded whenever, when, whenever somebody opens ArcGIS um, on their machine and, and uh, that way they don't have to look at all the tools if, if it's not necessary for what they're doing. So when you're done, simply hit close and you're off and running. So you've got your own toolbar here and you can dock it just like anything else. Um, you know, If you close it, that's fine. You can always find it again by simply right clicking again in this gray area going down until I find my toolbar. There it is, my new toolbar. And 
i'm off and running.